This is a tutorial on how to use Gmail to make fabulous websites. What happens is that you go to Gmail and you get a welcome to Gmail look. And on the right side you enter your username and password. Once you sign in, you go to your email account and it's at the top of this list right here there's something that says more that's where you go to sites the second item down is called sites at this point you're thinking of creating a website look to the right create a website that's it you click there this is the time when you're setting up the look of the website. So you give it a name. And then it's going to use that name to create a URL. You then describe the, the site. It's optional. And then you're going to choose, well, it's not mature. It's a good idea not to have mature sites. And then you're going to select a the theme. The basic themes, they have others where you explore them under more themes. If you click there, you get a variety of themes, as you can see. So once you've decided on the theme that you want, you have to type in this funny character. And it may be difficult to figure out what's actually said. But then you click on Create Site. And your experience, real time, this is what happens. It pops up and you've got your home page in the upper corner. Just above, these are the buttons you need to see. You're either creating a new page or you're editing the page. And the simplest thing is to set up all of your needed pages. And the best way to describe a needed page is that you are having a home page and then you have perhaps photos and a contact page. That would be the ideal structure. So I would have home photos and contact on every page. The way to get started, you go into edit page. And we're now able to set up, you know, welcome to my site, right? say some words and at the bottom you put photos and contact you can put that at the bottom of your site now this is a long site here at this corner it says layout if you click on layout you have a choice of one column or two column choose the two column because it just looks nice and the second column opens up over here. And some people put their um, contact me over there. And you might highlight it. So here I am highlighting. And making it bold. And perhaps a little larger. You're making it larger with these Right here, you have choices. Those are the sizes there. Once you have it highlighted, you can see the word link. I've got this contact me highlighted. I'm going to go to link. And now, another page pops up. Look down, and you'll see create new page. And this will create the new page. 
looking up. Let's give it contact me. If you put a space, it will automatically create another page. Oh, they'll put an underline between the two words. I like keeping everything under the home page. So the structure here will be home and underneath contact me. You look down. There's create page. And now you can see that's the new page. That's home. That's contact me. You're happy with it, so in the lower left corner, you see OK. There. Now, if I look at the current page, I've got home. On the right side, I have a link to contact me. But in the upper left, it still says save. So I'll make one more link after this. Okay? So you've set up your first link. In the next video, you'll go to the Contact Me page and type something in and make a backlink to the home page.